Right, folks, I am back with another review, and this time I will be reviewing cakes uh, from a company called The Boulevard Treats. Now, I have a friend at work who wishes to remain anonymous, and um, but they said they've got a relative, and would you review some of their cakes during this time? Uh, you know what that means. If you don't know what it means, go look at a video and you'll find out what it means. Um, everybody needs a bit of help. So, what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to review these cakes. Boulevard Treats. Now, they are based in Birmingham, but they do deliveries. There's a joke in there somewhere, isn't there, June? There is. Do they deliver? No, they do. I'm beef and chicken. Oh. Fucking screwed that up, didn't I? Apologies. Um, so, anyway... Uh, the, the good lady of this uh, Boulevard Treats, now then, let's just have a quick look, that's home, about, about, here we are, right, uh, about me, self-taught baker, currently working from my home kitchen, I've always loved baking, I enjoy the creating classic perfect bakes as well as contemporary treats. Uh, so there you go, they're all online. Uh, she got a five star hygiene rating from the Birmingham City Council. That's all right then, that's quite good really, isn't it, June? It is, very good. Five is good. Does that mean she like washes underneath the plates after she's had a dinner? You know when you stack the plates up and somebody in our family always forgets to do it? You know what I mean? Uh, I hope you uh, thoroughly enjoy your order. That's her. There she is. Can you see her? Oh. Oh, bit out of focus. There she is, in focus. There you go. Um, so uh, I said, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a food a review. Uh, but I am, I'm going to be honest. If it is not as good as I expect, I will say that. Um, then their friend can come back at me at work, and there you go. Um, so just off the top here, they've got um, popular treats. They've got a chocolate concrete, <laughs> chocolate concrete, uh, biscoffee blonde. Biscoff blonde, isn't it, June? Yeah. Not Biscoff, eh? We had that trouble before. Yeah. Uh, white chocolate chunky brownie and ice and sprinkle. Oh, now the ice and sprinkles. That'll take me back to my school days. So, um, there's an allergen alert. Uh, this item, you see, now you've got a nice little, uh, you've got a nice little uh, label thing there. Oh, I've got it. there it is. There it goes in focus. I've got to get used to this camera, folks. I've got to get used to it. There you go, I'm in focus. Um, the allergen alert, this item contains the following allergens, eggs, milk, soya, tree nuts. What the bloody hell is a tree nut? I don't know. I thought all nuts grew on trees. Don't know. Uh, cereal containing gluten, sulfur dioxide, and nothing. It's got no lobsters in it. There's no clams or snails. Mustard, there's no mustard in it, there's no peanuts, there's no sesame seed. Lupin, what the bloody hell's lupin, June? No. Don't know. So, to show that I have not been in this, you have to slice this here. Right. Ooh, we've got a menu. We've got a menu. Uh, brownies and blondes, classic and retro cakes. Now, that'll be me. Wedgehog. Mixed box. Uh, celebration cake, weekly mix box. Now, uh, brownies and blondes, seven pound. Classic and retro cake, seven pound. Mix box, eight pound. Celebration cakes, POA. What's POA? Pay on arrival. Jude's doing some filing in there. Price and application. Oh, price and application. See, June knows her shit. Dogs in up of it. Uh, cupcakes. 350 each or two for six pound and all that kind of thing. There you go, menu. So go on the website. Now, some of them, no doubt, no, no, no doubt, some, some of them say, oh, that's expensive, that's expensive. These are made by hand and all that kind of um, malarkey. So, comes in a nice little brown box, so it's all recyclable. Oh, it comes like a little bar of soap. Comes like little bars of soap from a gift shop. I like the idea of that. Right, Rolo Brownie. Oreo Bar Brownie. 
Bakewell Blondie, iced mince pie, ooh. Dime bar and biscuit, there's a couple of here. How long are you gonna be reviewing? Uh, filing lover. Uh, why? Well, we've got Biscoff Blonde. Well, we're on break, and I've already Biscoff Blonde. We've got Dime Bar Brownie, iced mince pie. Iced mince pie with my little eye. <laughs> uh, Bakewell Blonde. What are you doing? Get your hand off me, not. I don't know, it go that's how it goes. That's why it goes in the middle of the light, I don't know. Ooh. You can't keep your hand off anything like that, can you? No, go on then. Right, so what do you want then, babe? Do you want to go for... Uh... Well, I, I can't say them, because I can't come round You now. can't come round here, can you? Bakewell Blonde. Right, is that what you want to go for first? Yeah, go on then. Don't get too close to the camera. Sorry. I'm all right. Oh! <laughs> So it's in a little bag, it's all wrapped up. Now you've got to remember who brought this ginge at the Royal Mail. Yeah. There you go. Oh, the dog's here. Get out. Would you like to show that to the camera, June? It's a bit bashed up. A bit, um, funny enough, that's how June looks at the moment. No. No, 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 no. Um, I didn't realise what it was and I've dropped the box. Sorry. I love the honesty. Yeah, so don't think that's me, I've done that. Don't think that's me, I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> right, go for it, Junie baby. Oh, right over the... I don't want any of that, so I don't like them. Um... Oh, you don't like the um, marzipan, do you? Yeah, don't like it. Mm -hmm. How moist is that? Beautiful. It does taste like baked old tart. Yeah. Oh. I'll get that later. Mmm. <laughs> nice is... layer of jam at the bottom. Mmm. That is good. Really moist. Very good. And it's not got a soggy bottom. I feel like him. No, what's his name? Off. Um... Who? No, field him. Great British oh, baker. I thought you meant Noel Crinkly Bottom him. Right, what's well, his well, name? Noel Edmonds. Edmonds. We're going to go for Rolo Brown, eh? Ooh. Rolo. I predict that's going to be very, very nice. Ginger will like this one. Oh, look at that. Hold on. You got a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, whole Rolos in there. There we go. You're not going to eat all of this, are you? Because you're. Well, we've got to try them all. We won't eat them all. Mm. Another good moist one. I'm not a big fan of brownies, I've got to say, mm. because I always find them a bit dry, but this mm. isn't. Mmm. What a sticker. I don't have that anymore. I'm full. That's good because it sticks around your mouth. Mm. Now, I'm being honest here, folks, just because I know the person's relative. Um, you know. Yeah, like I say, I'm not a massive fan of brownies because I always find chocolate cake quite dry. Dry. But that's not, that's good. Right. Um, what we're going for now, you like a, shall we save the Biscoff till the end? Dime bar. Yeah. I'm going to have to have smaller bits though, I think. Yeah. Uh... All right, sweetheart. Yeah, she tucked into that one. What the fucking size of that? Dime bar. Oh, it's actually smashed up pieces of dime bar, look. You see that? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. yeah. On the plate sweetness. So this is like one of the milkshake places, isn't it? Where they make the actual Ooh. milkshake out of the actual... Bite it and I'll bite the other bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, thing? God. That's oh, like God! Got... It's got a whole dime bar on it. But look, can you see? Oh. Oh, you can't see it. Bloody can't, can't. I ain't got used to this camera yet. Oh, yeah. that's good. I like the down bar. That is just downright rude. That is pornographic cake. Mm, that is. That's my favourite so far. Do you want another bite? No, because I'll be sick. I'm eating loads of them. What's this one? What is that though, there? 
But it's just, it's just brownie. Just cook it. It's brownie. just brownie, yeah. That's just brownie and they've got... That's really oh. good. Again, another brownie. I'm famous for not... I'm not going to like this one. I know I'm not because this is Oreo and I don't like Oreo. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan so of Oreo. So I'm not even going to try it because I don't think I'll give it a fair... I'll try it. But I love the Dime Bar one. That's mm. my favourite so far. No, I've got another two to try here. I would say on the Oreo one... I like it. Yeah, because you like Oreos, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like Oreos, that'll be all right for you. I'm not. I'm, I've got an. I've got this theory where Oreo are trying to take over the world. They're putting it in everything. What is this one? Oh yeah, booty. This is mince pie. Mince iced mince pie. Oh god, that. It's rude. This poor little dog. You can't have any of this because this one will have currants in. Do you want some of this one? No. Oh, that's like my own made mince pies. Oh, it is, isn't it? I'd love to get my sister some of these instead of me making the mince pies. What a great idea. Mm. That is That tastes like a homemade mince pie with all butter, pa butter pastry. Sweet crust pastry. That is beautiful. And the last one is your biscoff. Bis oh, God. Biscoff Blonde. Oh, blimey, look at that, a whole biscuit oh, in look it. Look at that. These are really good. Whoever's done these, I don't. Um... Very generous with it, aren't they? I mean, like a whole dime bar, and mm. Ginger's going to like this one. Yeah. Now, like I said, folks, um, you get a box and they're all mixed up, and the £7 retro, uh, classic retro cake, £7 mixed box, £8. <laughs> Hold on. You say seven pound, how many did you get in them? I got six dinner, seven, six. Well, I think that's really good value. Yeah. Oh, that's good. oh Jesus, how do you pick a favourite? The doggy can have a little bit of this one, look. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is good. I'm going to go with then. Uh, my favourite was the dime bar. Mm. The mince pie one was really, really good. That would be a lovely alternative to mince pies. If you if you mm. allowed anybody out round this Christmas, that would be lovely. Lovely. Yeah, that and yeah. a cup of tea instead of mince pies. That would be just just a change. That is beautiful. Really, really good. They're really good, isn't they? Yeah. And the best thing is, she's only been going a year. Yeah. She's got a talent. Certainly got a talent. Get on the old dirt. Now, I've got to get these bloody glasses that serve us the lights in them. Um, get on the old bake up, mind you. I don't think you're allowed to be a professional here. I don't know, but she don't need to have a bake up. So, anyway, it's www.boulevardtreats. There's a dog here that's very close. Uh, boulevardtreats.co.uk. Uh, boulevardtreats at outlook.com. Boulevardtreats at. Oh, they're on everywhere. They're on Twitter. Just type them in. That is really, really good. Well done. Really good. Um, yeah, I, I tell you, you what, think, you that's a good that. idea, that is, Judy Bay. Oh, and the Batewell Tart one, that were good. Yeah, they're all nice, aren't they? The, the only one I wasn't so keen on was the... Um, Oreo. Oreo. Well, that's because but, we're not keen on Ore yeah. Oreos, are we? And, and, and I've got to say, I'm not a massive fan of brownies. Yeah, Gen generally, generally I'm not, but that... Yeah, to be fair, this is probably June's bar. more um, review than mine, because I just like everything, but like I said, I'm not... Well, yeah, Oreos. I mean, but if you like brownie, then... Yeah, you're way into that, it. That now. was an ice brownie, because it's nice and... And the ice pie, ice cream, uh, ice mince pie... Yeah, that's... That was, that's, that's cool. yeah, if you... If, if you like mince pies, you'll yeah, love that. Yeah, you'll love that. Really, and to be quite really honest, they're, they're a big size, I mean, that's... You could, you, I think you could quite easily cut them in half. That's half of mm. a slice. Mm. So I think you could cut them in half and they'd still be enough. Yeah. So if you've got seven, six or seven pieces, how many would it? One, two, three, six. You've got six pieces, you could quite easily yeah. cut them in That'd half. Be a, in fact, cut them in could, half and still not be stingy. Yeah, cut them into fours 
And then you, you've all got a bite, a cup of tea, yeah. on a plate. Uh, on one of those cakes. On a cake stand. Ooh, roulette. Yeah, Ooh, just something a bit earlier. Brownie roulette. Put it on a roulette table and spin it. Oh, trust you. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Brownie roulette. Right, thank you for that. Um, I was really impressed. Um, I hope people do actually. It's just an idea for Christmas because obviously what's happening with the situation. Um, we don't know where we're going to be. We don't know what cakes or, or presents to buy. But no doubt this is an option. This is a nice little option. If your mum lives in Shrewsbury and you live in... Doncaster, I don't know how you've ended up in Doncaster, if you live in Shrewsbury, um, but you want to send them some pro uh, cakes and stuff for Christmas, this is ideal, absolutely spot on, knick knack new. Um, thank you once again, I'll put all the bits and the bobs in the below and uh, we'll go from there, laters.